What did you make of Saturday? Well, personally for me, it was good to get a start, but at the same time, we didn't get the three points. So it was a bit disheartened in mm. our point of view and leading the game twice as well. So, yeah. What is it about it? Is it about closing out games? Is it about killing off teams? Well, that's what we've been trying to work on. We're trying to work on being difficult to beat and to obviously lose the two goals is... It hurts us inside deep, so yeah. we just got to cut it out now. Um, in terms of the going forward, though, lots of goals being scored. I mean, your assist for, for Sam Bullock's first, must be pleased with that? Yeah, it's good to get assist to do something in the game to be remembered by, but at the same time, we didn't get the three points. So, yeah. How did you feel out there in terms of fitness-wise? Well, that's my first proper game of the season. I played in a midweek game for the 21s, but I felt, I felt good. And maybe a, another game I'll be... In full fitness. Yeah, we, uh, we're looking at Crystal Palace tomorrow night, the return of Keith Millen, the return mm -hmm. of Yannick Velassi mm -hmm. and Ian Holloway coming to Bristol. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of spice around this game. It is definitely a lot of spice. Unfortunately, Yannick's not playing, so it takes a little bit off, but it's going to be a good game. Yeah, have you spoken to him a lot since he's been Yeah, he's, he rang me after the MK Don game and said, how did it go and all that, but it's going to be a good game tomorrow. Yeah. Um, what do you anticipate from Crystal Palace? I suppose it, it depends on what sort of team they pick, doesn't it? Mm. Well, they're a good footballing team. They've got a, a very good squad and a lot of players, young players as well, so we'll see what happens. You obviously came on in the, in the Gillingham game in the first round, this is a good competition for perhaps younger players to get a chance, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's the main thing, but we, also, we want to win as well, so and keep a run going. We haven't had a win in a league, so it would be good to get a win tomorrow. Yeah, the cup can spur in some confidence, you feel? Yeah, definitely, and that's what the main thing we're going to have to do. We're going to put our team that's going to win the game tomorrow. Yeah. When you look at that team from the weekend, yourself and, and Joe Bryan in the team, obviously Jordan Winter came in, lots of younger mm. players coming through now. Does that help you in terms of you've got people around you with a similar sort of ilk to you? Yeah, definitely. That's the first game me and Joe started together, so that was a, a bonus for both of us. But we're just trying to set a benchmark for the younger players coming up and see that they can actually play in our first team. Probably some academy coaches who are happy with that as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I did see a, a tweet from Dave Horseman who's helped me, a lot, helped me and Joe a lot, so... That's good for him as well. And more to follow now, is that the kind of thing you want to build on now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, we've got a young squad and we just want to try and learn as quickly as possible. So. Yeah. And your celebration for uh, Sam Baldock's second, mm -hmm. you, you can jump high, can't you? It was, everyone keeps saying that, but I actually <laughs> use his shoulder. So. <laughs> yeah. Never been into basketball then? No, 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 no. I can play, but not, I'm not a dunking type. I'm more of a three-point type of guy.